Hi guys, it's me Peeper Soak and today I'm going to show you how to properly set up my Squid Game plugin. So hey guys, we'll talk about the commands that are available on my plugin. So first, we can just do Squid Settings. These um, commands are only available on for the you know uh, for the admins. So we have the squid setting create lobby and the lobby name. This is the main um, command for creating the lobby. Open lobby is uh, to open the actual setting for that lobby. The delete lobby is to delete the all the settings for that lobby reload config this will reload uh, the config and to set the spawn um, you can use squid setting set spawn so when players join the server the squid game server they will spawn on the on this location now they can uh, or um, this is also the location on which the player will be teleported upon completing the game so after they complete the game, they will automatically get teleported on this location. The location on where you um, where you set the spawn. So SS or squid setting, set spawn. So now the spawn has been set. So now um, after that, uh, we will talk about the um, commands that are accessible by the players. So. These commands are squid game. So first squid game, um, there are three commands. First, join lobby and the lobby name. Uh, second, join random. This will um, players will join random lobby, a random available lobby. And then if they want to spectate a certain lobby, they can use squid game spectate then the lobby name. <laughs> so basically, that's the. Uh, um, that's all the commands that are available on my plugins so yeah before they can use the squid game join lobby join random and spectate <laughs> players will need to have a certain permission which is sqg or squid game dot join so this is the um, permission that they needed before they can use those commands <laughs> So these are all accessible in my page. So this is the sqg.join. This is the permission. Then we have the placeholders. Basically these are the placeholders that I use. So you can use this uh, for the for your custom scoreboard. Uh, now we will proceed on creating the actual lobby. Oh first before that um, I will show you or the plugins that I've used or that I use so first we have the citizens and the CMI these are the main plugins that I use together with my, my uh, squid game plugin um, these are optional uh, I'm only using them because they provide additional features like for example NPCs that um, that, uh, that I can add uh, certain commands for example NPC command add slash p squid game join random this is just a, uh, an example command basically when players uh, uh, interact on this npc it will automatically run that command but of course this is just an op optional because they can also right click on this uh, sign which is, which is also available on my Login. this is uh, so basically um, citizens and CMI are just optional so I mainly use them for um, to add more features but um, my plugin will run just fine without those additional plugins so yeah so first to create the <laughs> actual lobby we can just do SS create lobby then the lobby name so we can just call these um, events for example now we have the events next um there are multiple options on this one first uh the auto monitor um if you wish to automatically monitor this lobby when the server starts so basically this is the main um settings to monitor the lobby 
it will monitor the player account basically so if we, it reach the minimum player requirements it will automatically start so that e, that's basically what the auto monitor means so ss open lobby events so the set lobby word this is the word for that lobby so for example i have created a lobby which is oh uh, no game lobby yeah so i created this game lobby basically this is the lobby where the players will spawn upon joining the this lobby which is the events so um we can open the um the lobby settings um this basically the world needs to be the world where the lobby is basically this lobby this is different from the spawn point so basically that is the spawn point and this is the lobby so we can set this to this world which is the squid game then the minimum player this is the minimum player before the game starts so let's just set this to one the preparation time basically this will be the delay before the actual game starts so um, this will be the actual time or the time for the players to go to this location or to go to the next venue so we can just set this to 30 seconds so this depends on how far your next venue is then the barrier materials so for the uh, for the barrier materials so what i did is we have uh, as i've said we have this lobby and we have this giant gate so we can just um use oh um we can just break this to set the materials then the barrier location basically this barrier location will get removed uh, when the game starts this is the start barrier location so as you can see in the chat there are or you need we need to um, enter single or multiple and add or remove so basically the first one is the selection type so if you want to break each block or if you want to break multiple block then if you want to remove the uh, if you want to add them or if you want to remove them so we see um so what we want will be to select multiple blocks and to add them so multiple add we, we break the first corner and then we break the uh, opposite corner now we have set 84 barriers now for the lab appeal lab appeal are or my 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 plugin is um, chunk base so basically each chunks you can set each chunks as a uh, as a game field or a field basically so what we can just do is uh, go into a go into um, spectator then we need to again select um, single or multiple or add and remove so we can just do multiple add again break the first chunk then move to the opposite chunk and break the other chunk so basically this um this is the main uh checker that i use so if you want for example if i need to check uh, how many players are in this lobby i will check if they are inside this lobby field if they are not inside this lobby field they are not considered as players so basically that's the field that i'm or the, that's basically the field so we need to open the events uh, settings again so we already have the lobby field now kill all basically kill all means that if the players are not on the next game venue then they will get killed that's it so for example we are uh, for example we have a 30 second preparation time for the players to go to the next venue after 30 seconds and they are not in the game venue they will get get killed that's the kill all so we can just set this to true so we can prevent players um, from roaming around and not actually participating in the main game so next game one game two game three and so on and so forth so we can select each game for this lobby um, you can actually change the orders of the game as long as the 
Battle Royale should be the last game. So that's the limit. Um, you can um, switch uh, or you can randomize this game um, all you want as long as the battle royale is the end game because this battle royale will determine the last player winner yeah so we can just set this to first game red light green light um, yeah and then for the last game we need the battle royale now we have the spawn location this is spawn location is the location um on where the player will spawn upon joining the lobby okay so we can just this uh, we can just break this block so basically when they join this lobby they will teleport here yeah now we have the add end game commands and command delay so basically after the game and you can either add uh, certain commands to you know to each player so for example um, uh, for example we can just do give um, percentage percentage player uh, oh no first we need to select add or remove command so we can just do add and then we can just go give players oh no player um, diamond uh, one now uh, we can add more command or we can just type exit so basically um, when the game ends um, after a certain delay which is currently set to zero the command will run so basically the console will give us or the server will give us one diamond because we have set the uh, we have set the command so we can just set this to you know five seconds delay so you uh, the main limit on this command delay is 15 seconds because after 15 after 15 seconds um all the remaining players will automatically get teleported on the uh, spawn point the main spawn point not this one the other spawn point so yeah um, SS open lobby then the set sign location so to set the sign location um, we can just go to the lobby this is the uh, this is the spawn uh, and then we can just set this to uh, maybe we, we need to remove it first then add sign this sign and now you can just go and slash um, ss open lobby events set sign location and then we can break it so now we have this sign location let's restart the server and then let's proceed to the next game or the first game 